Is gas leaking from your engine? Will the engine not start? If so, you might want to take a close look at the fuel lines. There are multiple fuel lines found on most small engines. At a minimum, there will be a line carrying fuel from the tank to the carburetor, and a second returning excess purge fuel from the carb back to the fuel tank. Many models have a remote purge bowl, which adds a third line between it and the carb. Some models will have a remote tank vent, and another piece of fuel line connecting it to the tank. Fuel lines are in constant contact with gasoline. Over time, the gas will begin to harden and deteriorate the fuel lines. Once hardened, the fuel lines are easily cracked or broken. Even a small crack will create a potentially dangerous fuel leak and will allow air into the fuel system. Air in the fuel system can cause the engine to run erratically, die, or not start at all. Replacing the fuel lines is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before you begin, you'll want to go ahead and drain the fuel out of the saw. I'll begin by removing the top cover. Now remove the air filter cover. Just simply sits over the top of the air filter base. Now I can remove the air filter. Now I can remove the air filter base. Next, I'll remove the throttle linkage. I'll pull the trigger so I can access the end of the linkage and pull it away from the trigger. And now I'll remove the carburetor. Now I'll remove the two fuel lines going to the carburetor. This is the line from the tank and this is the line going to the primer bulb. Now I can remove the fuel line that goes between the carburetor and the primer bulb. Now I'll cut our new piece of fuel line. I'm going to use the old piece of line as a guide to cut the right length. If you don't have the old piece of line or if it's broken in half, you'll want to estimate the distance between the primer bulb and the carburetor and cut the line a little bit long. Then trim the line when you reinstall the carburetor to fit. So I'll just line up this old piece of line with the new fuel line. And I'm using a pair of flush cutting diagonals. I'll just go ahead and cut it to length. Now I can install the new fuel line. I'll slide it onto the nipple on the primer bulb. Now reinstall the fuel lines onto the carburetor. The incoming line to the bottom of the carb and the line to the primer bulb on the top. Now we can install the carburetor back onto the saw. I'll make sure that the intake tube lines up with the carb as I slide this back onto the saw. Now I'll reinstall the throttle linkage. It goes into the hole on the carburetor. Then again, I'll pull the trigger and slide the linkage back into place. Now I'll reinstall the air filter base and secure it to the carburetor. Now I can install the air filter. Just line it up with the air filter base and make sure I get a good seal all the way around the edge. 
Now install the air filter cover. I want to make sure that it seals all the way around the air filter base. Yeah, just like that. And now I can install the cover.